Hey guys, this is Sean Kid here, and welcome to episode 95 of Urban Rival Battles. And like I said before this episode, this is going to be with Hurricanes. Oh yeah, and let me just say this first, I might do some old cartoon references, uh, which, you know, kind of relates to this, you know, clan a little. Because, well, Hurricane's basically a Lucha Libre clan, or, you know, of, you know, like, Luchador clan, which is from Lucha Libre, which is a Mexican martial arts, or mes uh, Mexican wrestling, with masks and, and costumes. And let me just say this first uh, to new viewers uh, from probably some other countries. Ola or... Yeah, Ola. That's fine. <laughs> so, I'm playing Hurricanes and I have Derby Queen win that first round for me and that's good. Unfortunately, my opponent gets two pills back even though they loss but hey it's vortex and yeah the new vortex missions yeah I already hate Galen I hate Galen <laughs> I hate you so much Galen yeah jerk <laughs> and let me just first off and say uh, what the show is. And if you guys don't know this show. The show is known as Mucha Lucha, which is a show based off of Lucha Libre as well. Um, but it used to be on Cartoon Network as well as... Uh, well, if you guys know in California, it, it's uh, KTLA. Or like channel 5 but in other a areas it could be like something else or on other channels but um, this show was actually one of my favorite shows back then when cartoons were still good and I kind of learned a lot about it uh, since watching it and uh, actually I rewatched the show recently and and enjoyed some of the greatest you know things that I liked about, about the show especially the flea you know if you guys know the flea um, you know like one of his fav I mean famous lines like the flea can't feel his spleen oh wait I found it you know or oh wait there it is and I'm not going to be, like, saying it as, you know, the character's voice. But, I mean, like, I might try, but not really, you know, full out say it. But, you know, if, if you guys haven't watched the show, there's going to be probably a link in the description below. So, like, you guys can actually watch it. And the show is actually a... You know, well, in my opinion, it's great, but in other people's opinions, it's not bad. And the fact that it's coming from an interesting concept. I actually think I won this battle. Hold up. Four. Wait a minute. Boo. Hold up. 16 no I didn't no I didn't crap <laughs> I lost okay um and this clan's pretty good if you know what to do with the clan I mean yeah I kind of used that three 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 strategy but that's actually one of the good strategies for this clan because, well, like, you don't really have to worry about, like, 
life and the last mission is this complete three fights with the the hurricane and like the reason why I I feel as if the strategy for that three 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 thing actually works with this clan is probably because you know they get that attack boost So that's probably the best reason why it's good for this clan. Um, okay, so what are uh, the Lucha Libre wrestlers supposed to be about? Like, why do they have these names like Derby Queen, O Cactus, Panda Grin, uh, Zapatino? Um, and I actually list like what characters they are. I mean, are there in this? hand right now um if you notice their costumes like basically the mask wrestler or luchador uh would would name their persona as that mask wrestler by what their costume is so for example uh wwe's uh sinkara uh which is no face so pretty much like he's he doesn't show his face at all um, Derby Queen is pretty much based off of, uh, you know, well, her costume's probably based off of, you know, you know, cowgirl in some way, who's actually, you know, strips, maybe, but I'm not sure. El Cactus is pretty much easy, uh, El Cactus in... In English is actually cac. Wait. Yeah, it's cactus in English. So there you go. Uh, Zapatino's a little different. It could say like either Zapato, which is shoe, or it could relate to one of the great leaders in Mexico, uh, General Zapato or something. I mean, uh. Or Zapata or something like that. Pentagram's pretty much easy. His he's pretty much based off of Panda. And then there's like other characters in the clan. So uh, Magistrado is um, a judge. You know he could be considered a judge. Um, Uh, La Calavera is actually, what is it, a, well, it's not a zombie, it's, well, well, maybe, either a zombie or, you know, like, bones, you know? And then you have El Zombino, who's probably a zombie or, you know, like, a skeleton or something like that. Uh, Wonder Lena is actually a superhero, surprisingly. And yeah, I'm actually doing the right mission. <laughs> but... Um, like, there's going to be so many different characters for this clan, and, and realistically, they're going to probably make some great characters. Probably, maybe get some references off of, um, uh, uh, Mucha Lucha, maybe, I'm not 100% sure. But they might, I'm not sure about that. <laughs> but, that is something I'm hoping for, though. <laughs> Um, so, why did I actually make an episode solely based off of this clan instead of, you know, doing episodes for, you know, the past two clans, um, that were re released? And yeah, it's Zapata. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> and I just need five more. Okay. And then, uh, what was it? Uh... 
67 more. Okay. Um, what else can I say? And really, again? Really, again? Ugh. And there you go. I have freaking Lobezna in the deck. If you guys know the, the rant that I did recently, there you go. I put Lobezna in the deck because I had to replace a certain card. Oh, why am I angry? That rant. Mm -hmm. That rant pretty much explains it. And yeah, I'm actually pissed because I'm playing against the same opponent again. <laughs> so, let me start off with El Matador. And if you guys hear me, you know, talk like that, I do apologize. I'm not really, you know... gonna say that a lot in this or say it in that kind of way in this video so I do apologize uh, for doing it but you know and really <sighs> never mind well I won that round <laughs> without getting life that sucks <laughs> Okay, so what are they going to do? What are they going to do? What are they going to do? Um, I'm still going to be lower, but I still get that. Yep, I still get the lead. Still keep the lead, too. Well, get a bigger lead and still keep the lead. So, that's great. So, yep, two more damage, so then I can probably switch that card out. Mm, I'll go confidence on this. And again, like I said, that 3-3-3 three, three, three strategy, you know, it, it's a pretty good strategy for this deck. Um, but it, if you, I, I'm hoping, like, when they get a DR... You can probably mix it up a little bit more. Because right now, I don't think they have a DR at as of this point. Well, except for Magistrato, but realistically, you have to uh, uh, win the next round just to get that ability to work. So, um, not really worth doing. And that one you have to win 10 rounds, so I'll probably switch it once it gets to 10. And then El Zombino is going to be switched out. Thank you, it's not against the same. Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> you jerk! <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. Gosh. So they have Cornelia, a card that I still need to work with. Daryl, Lizzie, and Taylor. Um, they're playing Bers Berserks right now, and I don't know why they're playing Berserks, but I'm betting it's because of Cornelia. Because she has a new Blood Mission. Um, I have El Zombino, Lobezna, uh, Pandagran, and Zapatino. And... And... I should have I should have mentioned this before I started this video. I'm not going to really put too many references from uh, Mucha Licha in this episode because well, that's not what this episode's about, right? <laughs> but Oh yeah. Their finisher is the reverse of TLC. And guess what TLC stands for? Tables ladders and chairs so what they they do chairs ladders tables isn't that great nah okay 
But l let me explain a problem that I had before uh, this clan actually got released. Well, um, actually, when the clan was actually released, um, I I thought that releasing this clan was actually useless because they actually had a mask wrestler already in the game roster which deems his purpose not worth it anymore and you guys know who this card is right it's um El Gringo mm -hmm. El Gringo and like I, I thought like his purpose in the game was probably useless now due to that. So, I felt that, like, like, his release after, like, probably a few years was not even worth it because they they were actually planning on doing this clan but they weren't planning on doing this clan that's a different story <laughs> oh zapatino you roll oh I think that was pretty much a uh, ricochet pulverizing. Oh uh, no, I'm not gonna make that reference. But I'm betting this clan is actually, you know, thinking of these ideas: honor, loyalty, well, honor, family, and tradition. Because probably if you check their their background when you uh, go into battle and I'm hoping to actually get into a battle to actually show that background if I do get that background thank you jeez like you notice like they had the the wrestling ring the cactus um the sombrero All these decorations, the mask and the and the tights behind El Zombino. Um, you know, like it, it really just relates to like some of their, you know things that they like and or the things that they uh, love to do except you know, probably like you know like if they had like a a piñata somewhere oh i'm i'm not trying to make it racist but um but i'm trying to say like you know like to know that like they their background for the clan their background for the clan it's you know probably based on those ideas you know well background like this and background for story for the clan like they're pretty much a family you know they work together they you know they fight along each other's side and and consider as a family if they lose their masks or you know to an opponent like that, you know, in the background, like that, you know, that's losing your honor. And in tradition, you know, this background shows it, you know, wrestling, I mean, uh, Lucha Libre, you know, fiestas, and all that stuff, you know, that's their tradition. So, you know, that's what that stuff's all about, you know. And, you know, I really like the that whole idea of the clan. And I'm betting, like, it, it, they did actually base the clan around those ideals. 
know, it, it would have been, like, really awesome. But I'm not sure if they actually did or didn't do it. So, oh, well. So, probably the title is going to be, like, Huracan, kind of like how, like, uh, in Mucha Lucha, they're going, like, they yell, like, Lucha Ran, which is actually the, like, yelling, like, let, like, let's fight, or something like that. The probably, the possible episode title is going to be, like, episode 95, Huracan, you know? But I'm not making it as a joke, but more of like a way to like, you know, say something that I like or something like that. But again, like if you guys haven't watched the show, you know, like go check it out. There's probably going to be a link to into the description. I mean, in the description below so that you guys can watch it. But let me just state that I'm not able to find episode seven. Like the real episode seven, uh, which is the Tooth or Dare and um, the Mask Mitzvah episode. So if you guys are asking me like where that episode is, don't even ask me about that because do you guys think I would know that? Nope. And what? Why? Why? <laughs> okay, leave you wide open. Oh wait, actually you get poison every turn. I love that poison. I love that poison. Get the win with El Cactus and finish them off with El Zombino. Um, they're only going to get plus 8, so they're only going to be 14, so realistically I have won it easily. And in the last reference from the show, um, that I'm going to be stating right here. Is actually something that's, uh, you know, something that, um, this clan should be also known for. You know, like, there's this thing, well, I'm not sure it's real or not, but there's this code of mask wrestling, you know. I mean, not all of it's true, but, you know, like, probably, you know, the code of mass wrestling, you know, states that, like, you have to be this and this, you know. And I'm betting, like, you know, the clan, you know, has this code, too. Well, not, like, the whole code, but some parts of it. But you know, like, the yeah, the I'm being the clan has this code of some sort, um, that like they fight for, you know, those three ideals: honor, family, tradition, as well as you know being able to, you know, do those things. Like, if you, you know, treat family badly, you're, you know, well, actually, it's like, if you lose your mask here, you lost honor to your family, you're a disgrace, something like that, as well as, you know, like, you, yeah, you really lost, like, 
honor and the fact that like you're not able to continue the tradition with later generations and stuff like that so probably that's pretty much it with this episode uh if you guys liked um me to reference any you know shows or anything like that in in urban novel battle as i battle it on urban rivals um during those episodes uh especially like this one um let me know you know if if you guys want to see more because i I've watched like a lot of cartoons and the best show to actually fit this episode I mean this episode of battles was Mucha Lucha as well as like Lucha Libre wrestling uh, to give like some information about it and realistically the clan you know does show that those you know ideals as well as like As well as like other things that relate to those, you know, two things, uh, Mucha Lucha and um, Lucha Libre. Well, Lucha Libre is actually, you know, the the source of this clan. Well, like where this clan came from, as well as you know, Mucha Lucha. So, you know, that's probably it with this episode uh i'm rambling now um again thank you guys for watching make sure you guys check out the other videos on my channel as well as the other channels on youtube i'll get to work on freaking release rarity because i still need to work on that series i blame heart knit for that <laughs> because that card was released so fortunately i haven't you know fully done it and I'll show you guys the results right now. So. I think I started here. Like somewhere around here somehow. Yeah, it's like 27 minutes now. Okay. Um, Actually, it's right here. So, I lost to Bullapaz 0 2, lost to Cold Kid 0 2, beat Cold Kid 12 0, Miguel at well, 15 uh, 12 0, beat Nirvana Banks 12 12 because, well, they left, and um, Martin 71 Super 1 0. Again, thank you guys for watching this special episode of Urban Rob Battles, and Always check out the videos on my channel, well, other videos, as well as the other channels on YouTube. And always remember, honor, family, and tradition. Oh, wait, and donuts. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Peace out, you guys. Have a nice day. And see you guys next time.